for us in the field of youth development. We have a lot of expertise. I think sometimes we come to this work with such passion for it and such creative ideas that we just charge ahead with our ideas for a youth program. Um, but when we invite Meaningful Youth Voice, it is with young people at the table, hopefully from the very beginning. In this resource, you'll hear from leaders across the movement about how they support youth center programming through leadership, power sharing, and more. You'll also be able to hear about the different structures of youth voice in organization leadership from youth advisors and councils to advisory boards. You'll also hear from both teens and adults about what it's like to be on a board of directors. My name is Heather Rolls. I'm the executive director of MAC, the Multi-Agency Alliance for Children. Um, when we developed our LEADS program, which is our education service delivery program for young people in foster care, we did a number of focus groups that involved young people. We also made sure that we did met with all of the young people and did individual planning and made sure that we understood exactly what the young person's um, goals were and what their education goals were so that we could make sure that we got the services and supports that they felt like they needed in order to be successful in um, school. I work for Gwinnett United in Drug Education Guide Inc. and I am the Youth Advisory Board Coordinator. Our Youth Advisory Board is made up of teenagers throughout Gwinnett County from different demographics, all different walks of life. What the Board does is they go throughout the community and they represent, guide, they represent the, the youth in Gwinnett County as well as speak at different uh, committees or they speak um, in front of legislators. They help pass proclamations like Smoke Free Gwinnett or Red Ribbon Week. So they do a multitude of things. Uh, well, being a part of Vox, they prioritize uh, making sure that teens lead. And so having different leadership roles among the organization, from being a staff writer to an editor, uh, to nominating yourself for the board, uh, those are all forms of leadership that you can take. Uh, and that is a form that Vox takes in order to make teens feel heard. They also, they make a really good experience with listening to you. That's one um, really good experience that they do. They're always open, they're always caring, they're always like inspiring, encouraging. Like, there are like so many things, it's like a lot, like. Is when you're on a board, you are able to help support the decisions made uh, to help the organization, to help improve the organization. I'm on the board and I have had uh, the privilege of being able to uh, have an opinion in hiring and have uh, a voice in hiring. Really gratifying because you don't see teens on a board. Usually a board is made up of all adults and they're the ones that make the decisions. Uh, but one thing that I really like about being on this board is the fact that I can add my opinion and my thought and not be overshadowed or have it be overpowered. Uh, there's always a suggestion that is offered up. It's not, it's defining power first and foremost, who has it, who doesn't, um, where that power comes from. But the biggest part of that word for me is the share. And it's not just in the decision-making, it's in the experiences, it's in the development of identities, roles and responsibilities as, as equal partners um, on a board. But remembering the share again, which is the goals which is success and being able to thrive and being able to be seen, being able to share the experience. I think an adult should be able to be flexible and understanding. Um, and I think adults also need to look at themselves as far as what privilege and power looks like and feels like for them in that space um, and know when they might need to pull back. So it feels like more awareness of self in order to engage and build trust um, in, a, in a carefully cultivated space where adults and teens can exist together. Start with young people, um, getting their opinions, um, providing education and resources, then it will help to create better, healthier, um, hopefully less traumatized adults. <laughs>